Ladies and gentlemen, this is D-E-I. This is D-E-I. Is destroying Hollywood featuring Nerd, Nerd Rotic and Brandon Herrera. Well, channel unsubscribe clips, obviously. Is Fatrician there? I'm guessing not. Uh, what is DEI? DEI, DEI. Well, I'm guessing it's some kind of like a woke thing that's been destroying Hollywood, I guess. I've seen some things like here and there, like in passing about Nerd Rotic. So I'm guessing that's what the element is here. I know this video is gonna be about, but yeah. Uh, things have become too stupid, right? Left have gone so lefty, like you can't even see them anymore, right? So this is gonna be some shit like that. Let's watch, it's gonna be interesting. When I did the Rings of Power coverage for the first season, I had people from Amazon reaching out to me uh, afterwards and uh, people who worked on the show, who currently worked on the show and... Um, <laughs> Fed me all oh kinds of shit. Oh, shit. oh, like behind the scenes. Behind they were the like, scenes. dude, you this is so bad. Ba Holy what shit. were they saying? Yeah. The stuff I can't. I made a video called uh, The Rings of Power, The Making of a Disaster. It came out a couple of years ago. But um, they. Uh, Can I guess of, real quick? If I. Again, this is Eli separated from Hollywood for 10 years, better of 10 years, I think, eight years. Chase. Chase knows he, he just came from LA. <laughs> the Sorry. level of insanity, just guessing on this, you will see, uh, first off, you cannot, like, it is so hit with the DEI, mm -hmm. and then they will rewrite shit to, it doesn't matter what the mass audience wants, it's like, how do we cater to a specific audience? I think the key word is new audiences. New audience, The literally. modern audience that doesn't yeah. exist. <clears throat> and then it is catered around that. See, <clears throat> there is a company, uh, I don't know who this exact name is, but I'm pretty sure it's a famous company, even like intervenes in video game world, let's just say. <clears throat> who CEO just point blank said in one of the TED talks or something, like, if they don't agree with you in your like agenda, or like you, how you want to mold the things, you know, like, panic them like make them fear you and like your threats and whatever and have your you know in the end make sure that you get your own result that's a strategy like just point blank without any shame or something like that like really i'm guessing this is some similar shit like that here's what i want to say man first of all you know this hollywood shit about like you know i get it right hollywood or the big major corporation like coke coca-cola and pepsi they're afraid that backlash would cost them money. And that is the only Disney. That is the only reason why they're like bending, bending back. Because past 10 years have shown the small group of people with enough of a voice can start a movement that might feel like it's more than what it is. And people will basically follow that. Right? It's one thing to have your view and express it and like spread around to people where people will be like, oh, this makes sense. This is more like modern thing. This is woke. And like, I'm woke now. That's one thing. There's other thing to just, you know, like wash everything, right? That used to be bad. Whitewashing or shit, shit like that. That used to be bad. Now, in name of progress, and they're going to wash everything into their image, whether anybody likes it or not. So, so everybody's down throat, this whole element, shamelessly. Like, I don't even care. I'm doing this because I'm right. I've decided that I'm right. Whether people agree with me or, or not, I don't see anything. And that's what I'm going to do. That is such an insane element, right? And the corporations don't have balls to say, like, this is stupid. I think it's stupid, just makes no sense, and I'll take my chances type of way. They all just bend backwards, even when people actually hate the shit. And with Amazon uh, Rings of Power thing, right? When I watched the first episode, I'm like, hmm, that she, she was very stoic character in the original one. I guess I missed some lore here and there, because suddenly she's a warrior now. No, I didn't miss any lore. They suddenly just decide that she's that, like, okay. I don't, have, I don't have any problem with like female warrior, there are many, like look at the Wonder Woman, I don't have a problem with that, that movie did so well. But when a character is not there, why are you fucking doing that? Just in the name of, it's just stupidity, right? None of this shit makes sense. It is how everyone's hired, how everything has to be handled on set. You, It, it is a multi-layered problem and it doesn't get better any which way. And then if you're outside of that, you will get pushback instantly like if you voice a reason like henry cow before the witcher like mm -hmm. hey hey this this is not what 
this isn't how this would go. See, people are covered in so much shit, they don't realize they're covered by shit because they don't see anything else. That's the problem with this type of thing. This is Illuminati level shit. Do you understand that? Like, it's not like, let's show the world and see what world thinks of. No, we'll force things down people's throat and we'll mold an image whether people like it or not because of our doctrine or what we think about certain uh, social issues. And we're going to mold the... This is, this is what people think of Illuminati. They're mold the world in their image. These people are trying to do that. If you think you're so right, just spread the message. If people understand it, great. But you don't do shit like this. This is insane, man. Oh, what the fuck's going on? And then immediate pushback. That's probably what happened the entire time or what you heard. Yeah, what did they say? Yes. So every layer they put on, there's so much more now post-strike, post-COVID, like kills creativity. So what I was told by somebody at the time, very, very high up, was the, that the marketing that they started the Rings of Power with, that, that Disney's perfected, because it does relate to the Acolyte, came straight from the top, which was go after the fans because when rings of power started casting black female dwarves after telling us they're going to honor the lore people were just going uh there's a, excuse me um there were no black dwarves you know they were they dwell in mountains and they never tolkien never explained what female dwarves look like right other than beards that's it which they removed from the to once once Amazon came out and Disa didn't have a beard. They actually removed it from the Tolkien Gateway, which is like their Wikipedia. They what? removed it. You yes. think they would want women with beards on there? Well, they did it now. They so <laughs> well. It's, it's kind of like of when... fronting for it, but like the marketing came from the top, which means it came from Jennifer Salky, which means it comes from Kathleen Kennedy, and a lot of this is used through three party. You know, third party companies and it's not used all the time there's plenty of people out there who uh, uh who are who just truly support the acolyte who can sound pretty loud on twitter same with the rings of power but there's also an argument to be made that wouldn't it be in the company's best interest to hire a third party company for plausible deniability to drum up what looks like interest it's toxic positivity is the term now but drum up, drum up a false interest in something where it's easy oh, like on so on sense. x twitter and it makes sense because that's the shit they accused us of back in the day when um it's just bots when you just yeah, troll bots russian bots back in those days like what the fuck are you talking about who's gonna i'm not gonna pay money for somebody to downvote Captain Marvel. I'll just say it sucks. I don't care if people like it. Um, <laughs> You're allowed to like shit but, that I don't like. That's fine. I just don't not fucking have a different opinion. Not to get too conspiratorial, but wouldn't it make sense for a giant corporation that pumped $200 million into something to maybe drum up some interest where, there, where they know there is none? And they knew, they knew at Amazon they were already in trouble with the Rings of Power. You know what they, it reminds me about of? Like genuinely, like that marketing strategy? Yeah, this is... Uh, polarizing element any uh, attention is an attention which is kind of like a fucked up thing but it's true right uh, this is one of the reason why Trump is too famous now because he was so polarizing he did a lot of like we, you know like like any other president does that they're just screwed but Trump made it in a way that he becomes so attention he wasn't a billionaire when he started doesn't matter how much he claimed he wasn't a billionaire but now he is He's like, what, eight, ten billion dollar in like, uh, you know, thing because he became that level of famous by polarizing, right? Uh, Indirectly, like, you know, John Cena was that guy who's like, either get like cheered or bowed, but both of them counted. So he was paid like 10, 15 million uh, every year because even the boos are like, that's, that's something. Polarization. It, any response is a good response type of shit. So that works. But yeah, I don't know, man. Yeah, but, you know, this uh, whole rings of power thing, like at one point I genuinely realized like, okay, they're trying to piss people off just so they get enough traction so people watch type of shit. I did even feel that, but I don't know. Yeah, it reminds me of uh, like the book, Trust Me, I'm Lying by Ryan Holiday, mm -hmm. where they would purposely, they'd put up a poster. Like, I think it was like, I hope they serve beer in hell. It's like objectively, I think a trash movie if you look on IMDb. But uh, he was part of the marketing campaign. And what they do is they put up a billboard in LA and then deface their own billboard so it would show up in news articles and shit like that. So there's all of a sudden conversation started about it. So like you are putting out garbage so that they will throw shit at it and you can throw shit back and all of a sudden there's discourse. There's actual yep. discourse where there shouldn't be. And, and there's still, I guess, a thought amongst the corporations that any 
press is good press any discourse is good good discord well with the rings of power in particular and acolyte with the rings of power first season was far more in the zeitgeist and because the tolkien fandom was like fuck no hell no. and that was like 1.8 million viewership first week yeah right? yeah and then it went down to well they claimed 900. like 25 million people watched it worldwide uh, but by the end, it lost 63% Fair. of its audience. <laughs> because <laughs> you lived your dream. Yeah. Like, the fuck do you find these people? <laughs> yeah, I don't know where they find them either. But like the, the comment sections, and that's where. Yeah. I think there's a difference between rating and actual viewers. When somebody say 8 million rating, that doesn't mean 8 million viewers. That means like viewers are much higher than just 8 million rating, right? It's like, it's a very weird thing how they calculate. But when it comes to like a streaming service, like Netflix and Amazon Prime, they can literally know, like YouTube, they can literally know the number, how many people are watched. So even if 25 million did watch, is that a lot? I mean, come on, right? Uh, in the in the world of all this, like, is that really that much of a lot? Like, you know, so many people out there, like 25 million collectively, right? Not just at once. I'm pretty sure that's collectively they're talking about. I'm not so sure that's a high number. Right. And uh, I don't know, man, like even the accolade thing. Right. Like that's not what I don't understand is common sense is the only thing they need. Does this make sense? That's what they, they need to take one step back and think like, does this make sense? If it doesn't, let's don't do it. People are stupid. You can't fool all the people all the time. There's a quote from one of the president. I forgot. Right. You can fool some people all the time or you can fool all of the people for some time, but you can't fool all the people all the time. So what are they trying to do? It worked for some time, some time, and now people are starting to realize that, wait a minute, this has no sense in it and I'm tired. So it's going to collapse really fast. It's it's already happening. Look at how bad all the, like, Accolade made no money and all this shit made no money, right? And in the end, like, they, they blame people like this, uh, nerdrotic or whatever. Okay, if internet historian made a video like follow 76 of like elden ring or like uh what what is that like uh, the latest game right uh fuck me why am i forgetting the name baldur's gate baldur's gate 3 would that video work people would scream at internet historian like, have you lost your damn mind so if your content is actually good and people like it people like nadrotic would basically go, you know get no view and get booed to the oblivion like that one guy who tried to came after Vendigoon who just had to delete th their channel that's not the case because your content actually fucking suck. Ch next time, change it. Whatever you did, did opposite of that. How hard is that? Or right around where YouTube had, it was because of the White House, by the way, but, um, and maybe Disney, but they got rid of their dislike button. Yeah. And then they started <sighs> deleting comments were like, this thing sucks. So people got smart and they just started saying, Oh, my f favorite part when, is when Gandalf said, it's Morbin time. You know, they just started <laughs> trolling the fucking tra and, and it's been great. Yeah. Should we do what America does usually go with uh, what's popular? Let, should we do capitalism? No, let's not. Let's go Stalin. Paint everything up, delete everything up that doesn't fit your narrative. That will do it. Uh, and they did it with Acolyte too. <laughs> Gandalf saying it's a Mormon if you, time. <laughs> it, if and you then want he it, Gandalf all over the place. If you want to have a good laugh, go to the Rings of Power season one or Acolyte comment sections on YouTube. It's fucking hilarious. <laughs> like people got so creative with that. It's so good. Uh, and it was, it was amazing trolling. And they can't stop it. So you can't, they were just automatically deleting certain keywords. So they're just, all right, well, we'll just roll into it and we'll fucking clown you to your face. We don't have to say it sucks. Uh, and that's better, you know, and because mockery works and it led to the accolade. Yes, sarcastic, positive words. I've seen that as well. When you read the word like, oh, wait a minute, your literal first glance, wait a minute, it's positive. Then it, it suddenly sinks in. Wait a minute. He's been one of the most overly sarcastic person you can find using really positive words to mean something else completely. Yeah, that creativity has risen up because YouTube has like become too strong. People even scream at my comment section like, why are these comments deleted? Are you deleting? Like, man, I, I, you know, I, I don't even know how to delete comments. I don't even go into that point, right? I just from my smartphone see like who's commenting what just to like what people want, that's it. YouTube has gone insane with like what words to delete. It's not even swear words anymore. I think they actually read sentences or something like does it align or something like, are you kidding me? There's a, there's a limit where you should come and then stop. Censorship at that level is not good. Like getting publicly canceled, right? That and should be your next t-shirt. Mockery works. It does. That's actually, that's a really good. 
<laughs> Mockery works. It really does make somebody so feel foolish. Uh, and a bit, and you, that's what it's and great. That's by putting a mirror up to their face. Like, I'm going to use your language against you. And I'm just going to like, these are the things you're telling me. I'm not making anything up. I am just reflecting back what you have told me that you have prioritized identity politics. You uh, use terms like white passing. I was talking about it in a stream earlier today. Pedro oh, yeah. Pascal gets gets cast in everything because he's white passing. That is somebody I heard from Marvel. That's why he was cast as Reed Richards. His and first like, name is fucking Pedro. Uh, yeah. Wait, what's white passing? What's white passing? You're well, this white is a passing, term, Eli. Oh, this is a term where we can put somebody <laughs> in that's diverse, but they can still pass as a white guy by replacing a white character. This is how fucking insane they've gotten, right? And they're the ones that, I mean, they brought back, and the media brought back person of color. They're the ones who call people marginalized all the time. These weird. If you just still don't get it. When you think about Vogue for more than two minutes, it's opposite of what they're trying to do. Should we eliminate racism? Yeah, so let's see racism everywhere. Not like who's best for this criteria, let's not think about color, whether it's white or whatever. No, let's see color all the time, it better not be white. Let's put Pedro Pascal in that one, instead of white character, because it looks close to white, but it's not white, so yeah, yeah check. Like, are you kidding me? Are you going to eliminate all the great actors like of the past, like all the people? Are, I wonder, like, why are people like Brad Pitt and all that not making that many movies? I guess I know why. Nobody want to cast them, even if they're like, uh, why isn't there so many like, uh, you know, George Clooney movie or like a uh, Leonardo DiCaprio movie, only like some very specific like Quentin Tarantino, people like that, who doesn't give a fuck about any of this, only the other one like casting. I always thought like maybe these actors choosing specific roles and not making that much movie but really one movie every four or five years or something like brad pitt make that bullet train thing before the god knows when he made it i don't even know what new movies is making i'm not saying he's a great actor but like he's, he's one of those people we named like household names i'm pretty sure like people are not casting him that's it like that's not casting him. are you serious this doesn't make sense like overcorrection is one of the most stupidest thing Right? There's been racism. All right, so let's overcorrect. Like, let, let's just replace everything that is even close to white. Let's make fun of those people. Like, okay, like reverse racism makes sense. Like, what kind of stupidity is that? Right? We're talking about it earlier. Marginalized people don't know how to use apps, they don't know how to use the phone, they don't know how to use computer. They, they can listen to how me that and Brandon fucking sounds. are just founding it, like finding out about YouTube. You, <laughs> we thankfully crazy. have a very strong white leader. Yeah, exactly. I was able <laughs> to guide this. Yeah, yeah. yeah. you're, uh, you're Eli part didn't Mexican. Know what YouTube was. You could do more than clean my pool. You know, <laughs> no, I can't. Yeah, you yeah. Know, I, Eli I, and Brandon came along. I was like, guys, there's this podcast <laughs> thing. I don't know. You're not going to understand it at first. I'll, I'll lead you through it. There's <laughs> this YouTube thing you guys can get into, and they're like, see, it's called an see, app, which is short for app. The YouTube, the, the what is a yard? The How much space is it? Fifty dollars. I can't show. I, I can't show. Your YouTube. <laughs> Brandon power washed it. <laughs> I, I, I can't show my ID to vote because obviously I'm too marginalized yes. To, yes. to ever figure out how to get a driver's license. <laughs> this is just absolute insanity, man. I remember a clip watching. I think it was uh, I think it was an Indian in America, but it wasn't an Indian who just like went to America like that. I think it was like a third generation of something. Like his grandfather long ago already went to America and he was as American as he gets with gun and like I'm pretty sure he was living in Texas or something. Big gun guy, listens to country music and everything, even he sounds like that. And somebody just like something something like woke type like trying to make a point about indians from india you people listen that like when you come here like you deserve this and that and they're like what the fuck are you talking about like and just like there's a there's a gun strapped to here <laughs> there's the whole scene i'm like god damn like you people create racism where there is none in order to fix it like i don't even know i'm i'm, I'm lost for words right now Right. I mean, I could pretty. I'm pretty sure I can like at, at a time slowly write a whole essay about it. That's how ridiculous I think this is. But it, I don't understand the whole ideology. When I think of this philosophy of things, it doesn't make sense to me. The woke is very weird. Right. Things before woke was not as much as woke. I kind of understood. But woke is just like completely different. Let's rewrite everything. Like, uh, let's make. First of all, let's make all the characters that were once white now black, and just like that makes sense. Why are you rewriting things? 
if you're so sure about them create new things and maybe people will like it right uh, there are many you know like black actors that people love like whenever this denzel was in the movie i have to watch it right uh, so look at the morgan freeman there's many like wesley snipes i love it like when all the tech shit happened he stopped making movies i'm like god damn when he went to like uh, you know jail i'm like come on man so you don't need to like rewrite anything look at blade how over the top it is right i don't still understand like oh this is black who's the like in uh, next lord of the rings right aragorn who's the main guy I forgot the, his name a i think it starts something with an a right uh, the main guy from the original lord of the rings trilogy who becomes king in the end i'm pretty i'm pretty sure that's what now he's black or something like okay siri in witcher siri's grandmother or whatever is black that is the whitest people of all time even their hair is white right there's a reason why all the you, the series cast is probably like scandinavian or something looking like that because that's what they're supposed to be right next time you're gonna make like a, some uh you know, you know vikings movie and you're gonna have like all the people who's like black like that's factually inc- there is a limit there's something you can have a leeway but something's just factually wrong it's just wrong what is next like you're gonna make some uh you know sl- slave owner type like 12 years a slave but in the movie everybody's black even the slave owner is that what you're gonna do Does, nothing makes sense man this is stupidity and they're losing money and somehow still following these people who says like this is our doctor we're gonna push it it's like illuminati level shit in the background of make sure our agenda passes this is what people thought of illuminati when they were feeling like they're gonna mold the world in their image these people are literally becoming illuminati in this way when your whole objective is not to like achieve what you're trying to do but achieve the identity politics and everything else screw it like we are making a movie what about some fantasy world that's your goal everything else you just like you know like sprinkle around it even if your ideology want to push it sprinkle around it you don't sprinkle around story and like your main core is ideology that doesn't make sense people are not going to like that it's like the bilber thing i just remember bilber went to conan Uh, on the show and he was talking about like how in like uh, this uh, pa- you know half time shows or whatever in and a- nfl there was like cancer ads all the time and he's like, and he's like i mean and he doesn't he's not really that great communicator back then he's just like i mean can you stop and people just like stun silence i immediately realized what he what he was talking about and then he explained it like i'm all for you know cancer prevention i'll even give you money and all that But when I go to NFL, I'm trying to run away from the world. I want entertainment. This is not the time to shove message down my throat. And he's right. You don't want to get shoved down your throat all the time. All this, right? I have YouTube Premium. Biggest reason is I don't like. I'm trying to. My mood is off. Like something, something happened. I'm trying to watch a video, and when there's an ad coming, it's something about something fucked up thing happening or some kind of charity ad and showing some fucked up thing. There goes my day. Like I will help to charity, but this is not this particular moment. right so there's a time and place that's the point so, so it's not message everything is not about message people want entertainment and like i said you can't fool all the people all the time now people are realizing what a quality thing is and what is this stupidity is and the stupidity numbers will collapse so fast and very few people like quentin tarantino and people like that who doesn't care about that actually make quality thing they will blow up ridiculously next quentin tarantino movie i'm i'm betting you will you know like but break all the charts because all the people who who hasn't been watching all this shit because they're tired of this are waiting for some kind of entertainment like that so this thing will blow over but how fast is blow over is the point right and people are not stupid man you can just show message down people's throat like that right show people what you're about show your message but not not annoy them they are annoying them that's the problem all right well that was dia is destroying hollywood by the channel unsubscribe clips if you like my channel don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you next time